Becca and her partner Anthony bought two vans from Boho Camper Vans as an investment and income generator. They get to use the vans when they want and rent them out the rest of the time. Because it's designed as a getaway van, it has really simple systems so the renters don't have to fuss with things and there's less to break. This van features a platform bed, bench seating, and a pull-out table, a kitchen with a deep sink, and a Dometic dual-zone fridge. And before we dive in, I just want to invite all the women watching to join our Nomadic Women's Virtual Happy Hour on Thursdays at 5 p.m. Pacific. You can find the link to our Facebook group, Gal Adventures, below. I'm Becca and this is my van Pippa that I have with my partner. Um, she was built by Boho Camper Vans out of Tempe, Arizona and she was built out a year and a half ago. She is a Ram Pro Master 2500 high roof. We actually purchased two camper vans. Uh, we decided to do this as a business. We were looking for a little bit of passive income and a way to let you know experience the vans and go on these trips but a way to afford that and so um we we purchased two vans through boho camper vans and have been renting them out through a couple of platforms one is go camp camper vans and the other one is the boho owners fleet and so that has paid for uh, the van builds as well as our our trips and we've got bedroom area dining and the kitchen over here um, everything in this back section is on solar power um, which is great um, back here we have a nice roof fan and an operable window above the above the pillows there which is really nice at night um, we keep our uh, clothes usually up in this section and then we have our dining table here which just stores right away and under this bench seat we have our um, dual zone refrigerator here it's really nice because you can control the temperature of each side and make it uh, a freezer on one side and a refrigerator out on the other side if you'd like. Oh, okay. Okay. I'd say that's the biggest upgrade that we found from uh, tent camping is to not have a cooler with melting ice. <laughs> and then under this side, there's an option for having a like a portable toilet in this area. We've never used it that way. This is just extra storage in here. A little secret compartment. <laughs> in the kitchen, we have our sink here. We have a little button for the water pump and just a little um, seven gallon um, jug underneath with a gray water. What we really like about this build is that everything's really simple and easy to operate on our own. We don't have to like, nothing's hidden behind the walls or there's not complicated sensors that you don't know, you know, what does that blinking light mean? It's just, you know, if you wanna check your gray water levels, you just go and feel how heavy the, the tub is. <laughs> we usually keep our uh, dry foods stored up in this cabinet. And then under here is just all of our, you know, um, cooking supplies. We, we usually keep our propane Coleman stove right there. We just have it out right now. So we just cook outside usually and then, you know, place cups, bowls and our silverware in here. So it's more simple. We don't have a, you know, built-in cooking or bathroom, but it's perfect for us. This is the garage space. Here we 
have the 25 gallon fresh water tank and we have a cold water shower hooked up to that. So that's just, it's here. And we actually hook it onto, there's a little uh, hook that you can hang onto the um, back of the door um, for the shower. To fill it up, you just connect a hose to this part here and you vent the yep. tank. So we've got a little reminder for ourselves here, vent before filled. So that just allows the uh, air out of the top mm -hmm. um, to, so it doesn't uh, get too pressurized in there. And then on this side, we have our solar batteries and the Victron system. We have two solar panels on top and three batteries here. And we just trusted our builder with sizing it and it's been great. We haven't ever run out of power. I wanna thank Becca for sharing her beautiful van with us. If you liked this video, please share it. And if you'd like to see more van and rig tours, van life tips, and other information to help women get on the road, hit subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. If you're a woman who would like to join in deeper conversation, join our Facebook group, Gal Adventurers, where I organize our weekly Nomadic Women's Virtual Happy Hour every Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific. This is Joni with the Galavan. Enjoy your journey.